Good evening and welcome to our next episode of Cooking with Michael. And Candace. And Candace, we are back. Thank you so much for watching last week. Uh, great, great turnout. People really love the Turkey Legs Air Fryer. You gotta get an air fryer. Max. Tonight, another great episode as always. But before we get into it, as we always do, if you're in the Germantown, Maryland area, and you're looking for the best selection of beer and wine, at the best prices, where would we go? Where would we go? Go to Fox Chapel Shopping Center where you will find Chapel Beer and Wine. Ask Andrew and he will hook you up. There you go. She's getting better. We've been practicing this for about six years now. So um, <laughs> she's doing good. So yes, Fox Chapel Shopping Center, Chapel Beer and Wine. Thank you, Andrew. Has been there since day one. So we appreciate you. All right. It's a beer night tonight. So I'm going to drink the beer. No Pina Grigio. She's going to drink her girly drink. And we're going to have some fun. It's mango. Girly. So anyway, tonight, middle So anyway, that's what our kids call it. They call it middle <laughs> So anyway, we're going to make a homemade chicken soup. If you've watched our shows before, thank you. You've seen us do this with uh, dumplings. Um, this is just a straight, uh, it's a little bit different because it's a little more intense. This is just a straight chicken soup. Um, you know, it's getting cold out. Uh, we've got Thanksgiving coming up. So maybe you just want to have some soup. You almost want to, you know, relax, what have you. Make it a really nice date night dinner. Quiet, easy, nothing too heavy, right? So chicken soup. I will tell you, this is not one of those quick and easy ones. This does take a little bit of planning and a little bit of time. So be prepared. We're going to show you how to do that. Starting off with, you want to get a chicken. Shocker, isn't it? So you know. <laughs> you can do this one of two ways. You can get one whole, like, uh, one whole chicken, like a three-pound chicken. They call it a, a roaster or a fryer type chicken. Um, or you can get it already cut up. Uh, we got thighs. Should I? Tall person. Okay. So we got thighs. Basically what we did is just got a whole big bag of thighs. Why? Because the thighs are very... Tall people, tall people, tall people. I'm supposed to be doing it, right? She's doing a good job, actually. She's following me. So basically what we did is we got the big bag of thighs um, with the skins, that kind of thing, because it's a juicier meat. Uh, makes a great, great soup. So We almost killed the music, the maestro here. Um, but anyway, so you want to get... With so, a look. With the look, LS, that's true. Now, whatever chicken you get, you want to make sure the skin's on. You want to try and stay away from just a sole breast. So if you're if you're doing, um, you know, chicken soup, have a mixture at least. I like to stick with the dark meat, as does Candace, and uh, that was for you, Ryan. Anyway, uh, make sure the skin's on it because the skin's actually going to add that grease and that flavor uh, to the soup, which is going to be perfect. So we're going to take a thing of. Uh, about uh, about three pounds of meat. Okay, about three pounds of chicken. We're gonna take carrots, all cut up, all diced. You can see they're already diced. About four carrots. Okay. So what? I didn't see. It. I didn't see it, but everybody on camera saw it. Yeah, whatever. So you want to take uh, four celery stalks, cut them up as well. Just make it easier for. Her. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. You want to use some chicken bouillon. We're going to use a bouillon powder. The reason being is you can boil the chicken, um, but... It, it, Boiled meat and skin by itself doesn't give you that really rich chicken flavor that you get in chicken soup. If you want to get a really rich chicken stock flavor, what you have to do is take the bones and boil them for a good 12 hours or more. That's not what this recipe is. This is not a 12 hour recipe. You can't leave your house. <laughs> right, right. Recipe. We're not making a chicken stock or making a chicken soup. So we're going to use the bouillon to add a little bit of flavor to it. Uh, seasonings. We're going to use some garlic powder. Okay. And these are all to taste. Onion powder. Black pepper. We're going to use the grinder version. And we're going to use some salt. We're also going to use the grinder version. The seasonings, like I said, are to taste. Um, and you know, we're going to use some in the beginning, and you may not know exactly how much to use, so you really got to kind of taste it right towards the end to make sure you don't need to add any more. It's okay because it's your date now, you probably have swapped spit anyway, so. So, yeah, I mean, it's it probably happened anyway. So, you know, it's a little bit of taste isn't going to hurt anybody. COVID mono. Anyway, um, you want to get a box of orzo, okay? And I'll just play the orzo at the very end, and that's about it, because we're going to show you how to make it. I'm going to get my stock pot. My stock pot or my soup pot, my big ass thing. I'm gonna take the chicken, and I'm basically just going to dump the chicken in there. All right. Woohoo! 
No escapee chicken parts. No salmonella to clean up. Just so you know, during the practice, uh, during rehearsal, I did spill juice everywhere, so I've gotten better. Rehearsal helps. <laughs> so anyway, then you want to take your carrots, just dump them in there. Those are celery. So you want to take your celery? <laughs> Apparently too much um, diet beer. Finished. Oh, sorry. Finish up. Finished dumping. All right, sorry. So you want to put all the celery. Carrots. Again, just take the carrots. Actual carrots this time. This is actual carrots, yes. We, instead of the uh, green version, we call them celery. Let me show you what it looks like, because I like to hear her go tall people. I want to see how many times she can do it without passing out. Tall people, tall people. See, people, chicken thighs, tall, carrots, people, celery, tall. all mixed together, right? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to add water, just enough to cover the chicken and the carrots and the, and the celery. That's all the water you need, okay? So we'll go ahead and put that in there. Now we're going to use spices. A bit of salt. Again, you've got uh, a full pot there, so... Again, salt to taste, but you're not going to taste it because the chicken's raw and that's just ew. Pepper. Onion powder. Now, typically, you would put in chopped or diced onions, but because he hates the texture of them, but he likes the flavor of onions, we use onion powder. You can feel free to use real onions if you would like. So, onion powder. I'm going to put that on top, basically, uh, again, to taste. And we're going to use some garlic powder. You can use minced garlic, but it sucks. So you want to use garlic powder in this recipe, okay? Then we're going to take, basically, two little tiny uh, scoops of bouillon powder. Actually, you know what, we're going to put in a couple more because there's a lot of water in here. Uh -huh. So we'll do four. I'm going to go ahead and put it onto the stove. I'm going to uh, let it bring to a boil, and then I'm going to bring it to a simmer, and then I'm going to cook it for 15 minutes, and then we'll check to see if it falls off the bone. And uh, when that's done, we'll be back and show you the next step. So for you, we're back in a second. Um, what, did, uh, what did they Chuck Woolery say on uh, the... I don't know, but I'm so proud of two you. And you two. got through several sentences there. Two and two. Um, anyway, actually it was one and one, but it doesn't matter. So anyway, I'm going to take this, put this, and when it's all done, we will be back and uh, show you the next step. We'll be right back. And we're back. Timer's about ready to go off. It's been, actually, it's been about 75 minutes or so, mm -hmm. um, because it did take a little longer uh, for the chicken to fall off the bone. Hey, I think it's done. So, what we're gonna do now, look at it right now just to make sure. Yep, the, 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 the meat is falling off the bone, which is what you want. But before we taste it, the next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna add the orzo. We're gonna add the orzo. So, orzo, this is not a necessary step, but it, uh, has a nice little, little texture to the soup, and I just happen to love it. So yeah. I'm going to put a box of orzo in. This takes about nine minutes or so to cook. So basically, we're just going to pour it all in there. We're going to stir it up, and we'll close it. Cover it back up. Set the timer. Set the timer for nine minutes. Let it boil, simmer with the orzo in it. And then when that's done, we'll take it out. We'll put the, the big pot of soup here. We'll taste it and uh, make sure it has the right seasonings. If it doesn't, we'll add a little more seasonings to it, and then stir it up, and then taste it again. That's my part. That's her part. Her part is definitely uh, tasting it. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, it is, the yours is almost done. We've got about 30 seconds left to go. Um, Candace brought up a really good point during the, during the uh, break there while we were waiting for the yours to be done. Skimming the fat. Um, depending on, what, on if you use a whole chicken or what type of chicken you might, there might be some fat um, that comes to the top. Um, you want to make sure you skim that off. Just take a spoon and just basically scrape off the stuff that floats to the top. Right. That's all. And please do not pour that down your sink, otherwise it'll ruin your entire date night because you'll be waiting for the plumber to come and, you know. And he will walk in and tell you exactly how stupid you are. Right. Right in front of your date. Right, and they'll screw everything up as you're trying to. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna take this off. We're gonna use Fuck That's Hot Pot Holders and Oven Mitts, available at cookingwithmichael.us. Again, I would do the tall person thing, but it's Fuck That's Hot. All right, so this doesn't have any fat on it, uh, which is good, but it does have a little bit of skin. So we're just going to use our spider, and we're going to skim off the skin that does float to the top. Some of the skin is not going to come off, or it's not going to be really uh, able to come out, which is fine. Um, it's not going to hurt you to leave the skin in there. Um, it may add a, little, add a little bit of flavor, but if you want to take it out, you certainly can. So This is the extent of my usefulness in this episode. Gonna reach in there. We're gonna take some of the orzo, some of the vegetables, some of the chicken. All right, so I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Tall people, tall people. It's not anything unusual, right? It's chicken, chicken soup. 
it's chicken all soup with a little bit of orzo in it, right? Short hungry people. It's all. Which means shut the hell up. Short hungry people over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna taste it, and we're gonna see if we need any more spices. I think we may need a little more salt. Good thing is if it's just salt, you can add a little bit to the bowl because you know you may have your audience may not want as much salt. Salt and pepper. Okay, so we're gonna get salt and pepper over to Candace for hers. Oh, I'm gonna try. It. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hold on a second. I want another bite. Oh man, that's good. Fuck, it's hot, but man, that's good. Um, so that's it. It did take, like I said, this is one you have to kind of plan for. This did take about 75 to 85 minutes of cooking time. Um, and then some prep time. The prep time didn't take very long. It's about five minutes to prep it. Um, so basically an hour and a half uh, to get everything done. But it's a great uh, date night dinner. It's a great uh, soup to have in the winter time when it's nice and cold. Um, and, uh, and to enjoy it. And a great conversation starter. So... Hope you love it. Try it. As always, if you haven't clicked the word subscribe below the video, please do so. Uh, and of course, make sure you share with everyone you know, everyone you like, everyone you work with. Kids, family, grandparents, parents. People you hate. People you hate. Hopefully not also your grandparents. Hopefully not also your grandparents. Hope you love it. Please watch it again. Thank you so much. We really enjoy it. Just to let you know, next week is Thanksgiving. We will be off. We are taking a week off for Thanksgiving. So... It's a great time for you to go to cookingwithmichael.us and check out our previous episodes mm -hmm. as well as check out our uh, merchandise and stuff. So please make sure you uh, do that. And then, of course, please make sure you do that. And then in two weeks, we'll be back Saturday night, 8 p.m. on Cooking with Michael. And Candace. And Candace. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Good night. Good night. I just got boiling out of my beer, just so you know. I now have beer chicken. Chicken beer. Chicken beer. <laughs> chicken beer. If you happen to be watching Family Guy in the episode where Peter and the chicken get into a fight, if you want to uh, make Peter and the chicken have some soup, make sure you invite them and have some chicken soup as well. So it's a great, great dish. Uh, for those you don't know the reference, too bad. So, Quincy and irony, all in one. That's right. It's kind of funny. So.